The Great Barrier Reef has been hit by its most widespread coral bleaching event, according to a new study. Scientists have found that more than 40% of individual corals monitored around a Great Barrier Reef island were killed last year. And they're describing the situation as catastrophic. Dr. Maria Byrne is a marine biologist at the University of Sydney and the lead author of this study, and she joins us now. Hi there, Maria. So where is this island uh, and what's happened to the coral there? This is one tree island that's uh, behind me um, on the uh, southern barrier reef in the Capricorn Bunker Group. And it's a, it's a research only island and we do have education as well. So it's, it's a fairly pristine environment. It's actually very beautiful and it's still beautiful, but it's gone through a very difficult year. So what's the situation with the coral there now? Well, we the, the study that was published, that was up to July. We went up again in October and we're going to go again in February. So it's a full year. Um, but what we found in July was the ones that uh, died, um, obviously they're, they're dead. And so a lot of the corals that we saw in May that were still bleached, that we thought maybe they would recover because bleaching, does, a white coral isn't dead yet. It's when they completely lose their symbionts and they can't, they either starve to death or um, or uh, and then some of them obviously died very very quickly because it was just so hot. As we know, 2024 was the fat, hottest year uh, for hundreds of years in the Great Barrier Reef. So some of it was just catastrophic heat that they died from. Mm -hmm. So it was quite quite devastating to watch. Marie, you have been researching, visiting the island for for quite some time. It must have been devastating for you to see the results of uh, the bleaching yeah. event there. Yes, it was. And, you know, I, ha I do surveys there every year in January, February, and I have my favourite corals <laughs> that I know my little humbug damselfish hang around and they've got, they're always, everyone has a, a little character, these fishes, and that's their home. So between the corals and the, all the organisms that depend on the corals, it was really sad it was a bit it was quite devastating i have to say and we hoped that um that it would recover because 2016 one tree island started to bleach but there was a cyclone over in fiji you might recall cyclone winston mm. which cooled the whole great barrier reef the southern barrier reef i should say and we didn't bleach in 2016 when the rest of the uh, the great barrier reef marine park did bleach so but this time we didn't escape we didn't we weren't rescued by a cyclone Maria, the bleaching is bad enough, but I understand there's also a flesh-eating disease affecting the uh, coral. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, this is something new and that's not been seen before. It's called black band disease. Uh, there's occasional reports for it in the northern GBR and the coral that was affected. It's like there's just a single report. This is a cyanobacteria that eats the flesh of the corals. And I and and the coral that was affected is a very large old coral that we normally is quite heat tolerant, um, and it bleached and somehow the it was weakened by the bleaching and then the then it became uh, d uh, infected by the disease and that disease just is a just killed them very quickly. So about sixty percent of those that particular genus died, and that's quite devastating because these corals might be a hundred years old or more. Maria, is there any good news connected to the reef that you can leave us with? Well, I think the most important thing is to, as many of my colleagues that work on coral say, we will have a Great Barrier Reef. The composition will be different. And there was several species of corals that didn't bleach. Um, and they're still a lot. They, lo they live right through it. So it's, it, what we're interested to see is what's going to eventuate over time. The most important thing is if we don't get repeated bleaching, because the trouble with the Great Barrier Reef, it was happening every two years. And if we can get a period of time where it doesn't warm, the, some of the coral bounces back quite quickly, and some of the most important coral bounces quite quickly. I think going forward, we're just going to have to watch it all very carefully. Mm.